Hello and welcome. So, in this video, I will guide you through a simple static study in SOLIDWORKS simulation. This tutorial is part of the training with Abibica Tunisia, uh, a program that supports engineers by providing courses and certifications. So, as you can see here, uh, excuse the uh, French language, I'll, uh, tr I'll translate the main parts in English. So, we, as you can see here, the model that we will uh, run the static simulation. Uh, so we have the uh, material, it is the 1060 alloy, uh, we have the uh, both faces uh, labeled A are fixed uh, and we have a remote load on the uh, square face B with the uh, coordinates of the force and the force Newton uh, and three axes. So we will use the high quality uh, mesh and the default uh, values. Uh, the objective of this static study is to uh, get the uh, phone misses maximum uh, stress uh, maximum stress on the specific node in newtons per millimeter squared uh, with three decimal places. So now we'll go step by step uh, on uh, setting up the study and running the simulation and reviewing the results. The model is ready and you can download it uh, from the description. As you can see here, the model is ready. Uh, we will start by uh, starting the uh, new uh, static uh, study. First things first, let's uh, apply the material. It is the uh, 1060 alloy. Apply and now we can uh, do the uh, fixtures. So we have the both the faces labeled A are fixed. And now we can move on to setting up the force. So it is a remote force. On the square face, we have the coordinates and the uh, values. Uh, excuse me, uh, that's the uh, value. So we have uh, 100 millimeters on the y axis, and we have a 150 newtons on the y axis, and let's reverse it. Now we can uh, create the mesh and run the study. As the uh, exercise required, we are uh, doing the uh, default values of the mesh, and here we can see the results, the form is uh, stress distribution, let's make it in newtons per millimeter squared as the exercise uh, stated, let's make the uh, notation floating with three decimal places. As you can see here, it is 123.625 newtons per millimeter square. We can also verify whether the model will support the load by defining the factor of safety plot. And as you can see, the minimum factor of safety it is uh, 0 0.2, which means the uh, model will fail. As you can see here, the real strength is 7.574, and we have the maximum stress uh, much greater than the yield strength, meaning it will fail. One way to fix uh, the uh, one way to fix the issue is to change the uh, material. So we set it as the 1023 carbon steel. And now, as you can see, the factor of safety it is 2, meaning the model will support the load. 